Hi, everybody. Uh, it's um, Thursday, May 2nd. Uh, it's great to be with you today. I hope you had a great Wednesday yesterday. Uh, I, I hope that uh, as you are opening your eyes to see the kingdom around you, that uh, that you got some insight into that, that you could see maybe a person of peace in your life, that you could see God at work in the heart of another and, and how you fit into that. Um, God shows us those things. And sometimes we have to walk by faith, most of the time, but sometimes he shows us the kingdom. Uh, and so uh, we, we pray that, that you might see that and, and rejoice in that when you do see it. Um, and lots of times we want to see the kingdom the way we measure the kingdom as opposed to how God is working. Uh, and, and so may he open our eyes to see what he's doing, uh, not maybe our ideas of how of what he should be doing. Huh? <laughs> um, we're going to finish this section that we started yesterday. And I, and I love this. I thought this was a great way to finish the week. To show the joy that Jesus takes uh, as, as we rejoice in knowing him uh, and in knowing his peace and in seeing the promises of God kept in him. Uh, to, to, today we're going to see the, the joy of Jesus, his heart towards us. Um, I, I just think that's an awesome insight as well. How much he is for us and he walks with us and he rejoices with us. Okay, so here we go. So this is falls on the uh, heels of what we talked about yesterday. The disciples came back. Uh, they were re they were rejoicing because uh, they they saw the kingdom. E Lord, even the demons submit to us in your name. And Jesus says, "Yes, I saw that, but rejoice uh, more in that in that your names are written in heaven." Right? That that uh, you're you're part of the kingdom. And then it goes on. At that time, Jesus, full of joy through the Holy Spirit. So Jesus is both true God and true man. Uh, uh, he was full of joy uh, um, as as a uh, as as true God. Uh, and as true man, he was he was full of joy, and the spirit was also there, uh, filling him himself him with joy, just as the spirit of God is with us, filling us with joy. <laughs> so so uh, here we go here. So it says at that time Jesus, full of joy through the Holy Spirit, said, "I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you you have hidden these things from the wise and learned and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father. So this was your good pleasure. You know the the Paul says once I I um. I determine only the foolishness of the gospel. That's all I do. I, I just shared Jesus with, with people because that's the power of God for salvation. And and so many, uh, uh, and, and here Jesus is saying, hey, you know, we're all little children compared to the reality of God, right? We, we're all, uh, we, we have no wisdom compared to the reality of God. And and God says, well, Jesus Christ is the power and wisdom of God. And, and those of us who receive that is like, like little children. Jesus rejoices with that. And it's a gift. His Spirit gives us these things, and 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 we we have been fortunate enough to receive them and, and trust Him and live in Him. Uh, uh, and Jesus here takes great joy in seeing how God works in us. <laughs> and then it says here, all these things have been committed to me by my Father. No one knows who the Son is except the Father, and no one knows who the Father is except the Son, and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal Him. Now, now it says that God would have all people to be saved and come to a knowledge of the truth. So this isn't saying that Jesus reveals Himself to some people and to others not. There's just a mystery uh, to, this, to this idea of this living trust, this faith that we have in Jesus, and how it's a gift, and it's also something we receive. He never forces Himself on us. So there's, there's a mystery to, to all of that. And he's just rejoicing in, in the goodness of the Father who works by his Spirit in our hearts. And, and, and that's what, in, in the midst of that mystery, that's what we do. We, we ought to rejoice at what God has done in us and, and look to share that to other, with others. C.S. Lewis once wrote about this, uh, uh, this struggle that Christians have, you know, uh, why some uh, have received Jesus and why some haven't. And, and, and he finally says, hey, if this really bugs you, uh, receive it with joy and go out and tell somebody. <laughs> So, so this is what Jesus is talking about. Then he says, then he turned to his disciples and said privately, blessed, and, and blessed here in the Hebrew, Baruch, would have the, it would have the connotation. And remember, they had a Hebrew background, Jewish background, uh, would have a connotation of kneeling before the king and receiving his, his, his gifts, right? So, so blessed uh, are the eyes and, that see what you see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings wanted to see what you see, but did not see it. And to hear what you hear, but not hear it, you have uh, been blessed uh, uh, both to, to live in this moment, to see the kingdom of God come here in me. 
and we have been blessed to live in this New Testament moment when Jesus Christ has come, has died and has risen again. Uh, and his spirit's been poured out on his church at Pentecost and to you and me in our baptisms. We, we are blessed to live in this moment. And if by the power of the spirit we see these things and live in them, we are doubly blessed, right? Uh, and, and many before ha had stared into how God was going to work. And, and, and they wanted this, this Messiah to come, but he didn't come yet. He came when he came. Uh, and we live in this reality right now. And we're blessed to do it. Take joy in it. <laughs> and with this joy, uh, remember the promises of God kept uh, and, and live in his peace. W would you pray with me? Uh, dearest Jesus, we thank you that you revealed your heart for us here, that you take joy uh, as, um, as you see the joy we have in seeing the kingdom come. We pray, Lord, that um, we, might, we might so be touched by your heart of joy for us that we might want others to have this joy as well. And so that we might be carriers of your love and your peace and your joy and your, you the promise kept to all people. We pray in your name. Amen. Okay, well, I'll see you tomorrow yet. Oh, no, we're done. This is Thursday. Well, we'll see you Sunday, God willing, huh? And then next week, uh, may God be with you. Bye-bye.